wheel. Have a little update. Uh, I don't know. Um, I was looking it up because it was not in the news, as far as I could see, because um, the news cycle was taken over by um, a fire that happened at a hotel in New Hampshire. Actually, my son and I stayed at it. Um, big old famous hotel was burning at the same time the mill was on fire. Um, so I went and looked up to see if they had any information about it, because I didn't see it anywhere. And, um, lo and behold, um, about a quarter mile away from the mill, um, this past February, a uh, 15-year-old was, um, arrested, convicted of arson. Arsonists, they say, are the most impossible to rehabilitate. That they're like worse than pedophiles as far as being able to get them to stop the urge. I'm like, I cannot believe this. So there really is somebody right up the street who's wanting to uh, burn down everybody's houses and thinks it's great fun and probably compelled to do it. And oh my God. And there's a part of me going, oh my goodness, this kid is only 15. First of all, his life is over. You know, if you're convicted of arson twice, I mean, that's it. He's going to be, you know, on the hook forever. And, um, you know, because they can't say you're a child and keep people you know, safe at the same time. Um, and it's a major shame. On the other hand, he's an arsonist in my neighborhood. Active arsonist in my neighborhood. Uh, that also explains why the mill was, like, not locked down. I was like, are you kidding? How are you not even trying to do any research? Oh, well, yeah, we know exactly who it is. Uh, they were not kidding that they knew exactly who it was. <sighs> Holy crap. I went through it with my kid. Um, you know, he definitely had diagnoses, etc. And I was trying to protect him. Um, but the reason he moved out when he was 18 is that the police said if, if he ever put another hand on me, uh, he would be arrested by them, not me, and they would not give me a choice in the matter. And I didn't want him to be arrested. And I was the, basically the only person he ever went after. So I knew he'd be safe. I understand trying to protect a child. But I'm kind of pissed off about this. Um, Pansy's coming. Hmm. Oh, no, actually, that's Poppy. That's somebody with a waddle. <gasps> no, it's Percy. Oh my goodness, it's Mr. Stealth. Okay. Well, I will uh, keep him off camera because he's camera shy. He's shy of everybody. Anyway, um, I don't know. I have feelings about this. <laughs> People thought I was crazy when Notre Dame burned. I sobbed over that. I felt so bad because I didn't take my kid to see it. And I mean, I'm not kidding. I know that's a, it seems an exaggerated thing, but I felt like such a failure as a person that I did not bring my son to see this thing before it was gone. Um, I travel a lot, and that is kind of part of my motivation. Uh, I keep wanting to, 
go ahead and jump down my throat. Um, but I keep wanting to go to China because I think that everything there is going to be destroyed soon. Um, I was actually very con seriously considering going <laughs> in early 2020. Um, and it was like on my list of maybe that's a place to go that year. And that did not happen. Um, I don't know. I react really badly to that sort of, it's really strange. I get, I, I have no idea. I don't understand my reaction. I'm sure it has nothing to do with avoidant personality disorder. Or maybe it does. I don't know. But I... I really like original architecture. You know, this old mill is not original, except it is in its decayed state. You're not going to find much that looks like that. You're not going to find hardly any place in the world where people can just you know, make these amazing paintings out of, you know, spray paint. There are people who are graffiti artists who get paid to do what they do and they go to a specific place and they work really, I mean, like, I was in Philadelphia, it's amazing the murals they have down there. It's not organic. It doesn't change. It's beautiful. But it's still... It's not wild. Um, it's not somebody actively being creative on their own. I think that's great. Um, I actually considered being an architect, but I'm not an artist <laughs> and I can't draw. Um, and you know, people who can, and every once in a while, some people just like, Yeah, well, let me draw. That. And it's like, What? How the hell did you just draw that? Damn, look at that. And of course, the people that I interact with, you can't say that too because it will freak them out because you can't take compliments. Um, <laughs> although, I don't know, some people can. That I interact with better than others but I think coming from me because I don't do it very much and it's genuine I think it like has a bigger impact I can see him can you oh of course not <laughs> it's totally dark um actually all four of the cats are outside right now so I was worried that it was pansy because um you know she is not supposed to walk at any rate and she's getting worse uh she's got arthritis she's holy shit did that give me a heart attack <laughs> that was a car that had an automatic alarm it didn't like someone walking by it holy crap <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Um, apparently, I have a high level of openness to experience. Uh, within certain categories. Um, there are personality traits that are sort of broad strokes. Um, you know, like, okay, for instance, like right there is supposed to be where the ghost is, what I call the ghost, which is probably like family of raccoons or something. Although I've never heard raccoons act like that. Um, I mean, it's a story. Ooh, what is that? Probably a cat. I mean, it stopped and it's staring at me. It's probably a cat. If it's not cat, it's rabbit. It's running the other way. 
probably a cat. Anyway, um, I don't know if, um, that's normal or average or what. Because I truly do not think that personality disorder is that much affected by your personality. Um, I, th I think they're really separate. And I mean, it is sort of coming up to me because they have this big old trial. And again, the personality disorder and reason excuse and everything. I hate that. Uh, oh, it's a personality disorder that explains everything. We need to take pity on them. And it's like, oh my God. You have a personality disorder. You still have to take responsibility for your actions now. Of course, I'm aware of that and I went the opposite direction, which is I know the effect I have on people and my personal responsibility requires me to not interact so that I don't sort of impact people negatively because I have a personality disorder. Cat, whatever it was. It's a street. I mean, it's a cat. Um, oh yeah, the ghost is supposed to be in there. I hear peepers. I don't hear a ghost. That irked some to me. The lack of taking responsibility. I mean, it's always been, I mean, now that's part of my background and what I've been trained for, you know, as a child and on up to extremes. I'm supposed to take responsibility for myself and everybody else. Some kind of blue lights over there. Those are the people that have the creepy person in their window, which is actually kind of genius. It's just straight up lights. <laughs> okay. Um, they put like picture of some monster or something uh, because they've got one of those doors where beside the door is a clear glass pane, the length of the door, which was trendy back in the day and rather than hire someone to come and fill in that part of the wall they just put a picture there so you can't see through I think it's kind of smart um anyway but I assume the worst of people gotta be my cat some of the claws just like ran by over there. Let's see if I can see. Hmm. Gotta be my cat. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, I'm making myself jumpy. I do, I assume, the worst in people. It's self-protection. I won't um, inflict myself on people. I get people asking, they're like, you can't make somebody avoidant. I'm like, yeah, I'm aware of that. It can't be transferred. I'm not going to turn somebody avoidant. I could, however, make somebody very, very sad because they have empathy and they're sympathizing with what I'm going through. I could somebody, make somebody very, very sad because I have to do this back off thing uh, that I have to keep somebody at arm's length. Um, that I don't believe or trust in relationships at any level of any sort. Everything is a transaction to me. It's because I was raised that way. 
and you know what I've had quite a few experiences and experiments and across the board you know and there are gonna be people that see this video and they're gonna be like what how dare you how dare you think that um, you think that of everybody to a degree yes I think that of everybody you know I mean it can be like a really low key or it can be like give me money um, but yes yeah, so I think that people I mean this is going to be a controversial thing that I'm going to say right now and you're like mm, no you know I mean like basic politeness rules is currency you behave like this or you will be dropped um Probably a cop. Let's see. Is there a cop coming behind me? They won't like the cameras. <laughs> Probably gonna get stopped because I'm walking down the street. <laughs> Let's see. Not a cop. I don't mind cops. I just don't want to interact with them. Because <laughs> I don't want to interact with anybody. Um, and I don't like to be judged. And that is what a cop would do. I actually had somebody, I was walking down, and they were like, Yeah, we had somebody calling with somebody in a coat walking down the street. I'm like, Bull crap, you liar. <laughs> You're just trying to, you know, come up with an excuse to harass somebody who is walking on the sidewalk following every law. Ugh. Anyway, um, things like that, though. You know, and I mean, there's a friggin' arsonist in the neighborhood. Hello. Why don't you go after that little punk versus harassing me? You know, if they get bored in the middle of the night, they won't talk to somebody. God help me. Um, I don't know, it just, it bothers me, you know, um, I'm sure you've heard it, how annoyed I am at, at untreated borderlines. Why? Because they don't take responsibility for their actions. They instead blame everybody else for what they're doing. And when they've been treated, they are taking responsibility for themselves. And they can still be just as chaotic, but... They can kind of understand and have empathy of, of other people. And it's not just like, oh my God, but I feel out of control. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> I felt out of control and now I've impacted you in this way. No ghost. Too cold for it. Maybe it likes my cats. Percy's around here, but I don't, I mean, definitely around here, but. He tries not to be seen. He's like me. <laughs> That's why we get along. Um, I don't know. It's just, it annoys me. You know, um, and if there's something in this world and the way people act that annoy me, then I go out of my way not to do that. You know, and then and then you get the exact was there a car that's going to like go off when I get up here? Okay, well when I have a heart attack again, you know why. Um, anyway. Um you know, if there's something that annoys me, I, I, like, double down and refuse to do that. You know. It, it does. It hurts me if avoidant people have to be avoidant. Oh, oh no. That's Pansy. She's not supposed to be this far up. 
No, it's not. It's some other cat. Because that cat does not have a tail. Hello, cat. It looks like my cat. Are you my cat? No, it looks just like my cat, except it only has half a tail. Come here, you. And it doesn't sound like my cat. But it looks like my cat. It looks like a smaller version of Pansy. Come here, you. With, a, with half a tail. Okay, I'll leave you alone. But, oh my goodness, that freaked me out. I was like, oh my god, she can't be up this far. She'll have a heart attack. And she'll be lame for days from her arthritis. I'm like, oop, got to scoop you up. Which you will hate, and I'll be clawed to death. And give you an extra dose of your pain med. Which she will hate and claw me to death. <laughs> but it's not her. It's just another cat. Looks just like her. Looks just like her. Except again, half tail. And a little smaller. Anyway, um. Yeah. So. That's what I do. It's. It's a form of black and white thinking, I think. Um, I don't see grays. I don't see a give and take. And I don't see that, actually. I, I think. I mean, I'm actually thinking here. I don't think I've ever seen a marriage that was actually a give and take. Ever. There's always some person who is giving more. And it's not gendered. It's always somebody who will, you know, end up having to cave all the time. I mean, I actually know a guy who does that all the time. All the time. You know, takes the happy wife, happy life idea to the extreme because, of course, not a happy life because, you know, you get treated like you are a source of resources, period, and you're not allowed to have opinions or feelings. Eventually, that's what happens. That's what it's happened with my kid. I'm so annoyed with him. Um, I mean, because I know exactly what he's doing. He's in a financial pickle. He's 20 years old. He lives by himself. Of course, he's in a financial pickle. He's um, autistic and ADHD. But I don't know anybody that hasn't been in a financial pickle. Thank God, to my knowledge as of now, he hasn't gotten into credit cards because then he could get in a serious financial pickle. There's Percy over there. Can't see him. Could see his eyes, that's it. Um, so he doesn't owe anything. He's just limited funds and um it's an embarrassment to him he wishes he could be totally self-sufficient and not lean on his mom so he's dehumanized me and i am nothing but a, you know an atm machine and if i don't do exactly what he wants. He pitches a fit. Um, and that's why we don't live together. Um, hey, purse. There he goes. Percy's very pretty. He looks like he has fish scales on his back. He's also spooked about something. What is it, Purse? Something's down there. Oh, there are lights. Down. 
at the mill. What? Weird. <laughs> Maybe they are guarding it. <laughs> um, Prince is pretty smooth, though. Um, yeah. So... Uh, 30 odd years, I've been accused of being too independent. Never ever speak up about something that's wrong with you. I actually, I remember, oh, that's my shishado. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm spooked today. Um, I remember having an argument with someone, I mean, early 20s, that I was dating. So, years and years and years ago, I was starving, and finally I'm like, you know, are we ever going to stop for food? Because I'm starving. Because, you know, usually I would just wait until, you know, oh, okay, let's stop. And I'm like, and I'm like are, are, you, are you just, are you never going to stop for food? I'm starving. And I got back, well, all you have to do is say it. <laughs> and I'm like, no. <laughs> no. And it started like this gigantic fight. Um, but again, there we go. And the fight was because my ex was annoyed that I was not taking care of myself and that I needed to you know, do better to take care of myself, that I wouldn't ever get that hungry. That was the argument. What I heard was, you know, you stupid bitch. How dare you interrupt me? Who knows how much of either of that were true. I'm pretty sure it's a combination of both. Um, taking responsibility for yourself without imposing on other people is difficult. Okay. Work thing, which by the way, I'm not working. Can you believe it? I have a day off. Can you believe it? Being silly. Oh, you can see his fish scales. Anyway, um, so yesterday, I also was supposed to have a day off, but you know, one of my coworkers, randomly midday, um, decided to check in and say, well, I'm going to come in like uh, three or four hours late. It's like, oh God. So I decided to work. To cover that gap. In the meantime, there's this fire there, right up the street, which I was really worried and nervous about. And I'm I was actually like low key listening to the scanners, which was freaking scary. Holy crap! Listening to police scanner when there's a fire right down the street and they're like, oh yeah, we've got enough equipment. We need bodies. We need people. I was like, oh my God. Because of course it's like in the middle of the woods over there completely blocked off. Oh good. They brought the dog in. Of course he's up there. Probably because there's a dog. Anyway, um, I was very, very nervous. Extremely distracted. Really shitty work. <laughs> I was doing this, no question about that. And, um, so when this person finally showed up, I was like, okay, I'm going to check. It's okay. I'm going to take off. This person doesn't get tipped very well. So pay rate is much less than me. 
um, I think we're actually equal base pay, but, um, I always make jobs more just because I work more, do more jobs, better at it, get tipped better. Um, so this guy constantly whines, um, if they somehow have staff because there's too many people and he's not getting enough jobs and blah, 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 blah. Also, that means sitting there twiddling his thumbs, not doing anything to try to get more jobs. <laughs> um, which there's a lot of things that can be done. Um, you know, support other co-workers, etc. Um, but anyway, so this person who's a pain in the butt, who um, whines about not making enough money and not having enough jobs, who was not there. And so I had to step in for a couple of hours, was also whining that I was leaving. I'm just like, I was like, I think it was kind of a joke, but I'm still like, fuck off. Come on, person. Um, because it's, it is very, very, very hard for me to do the both sides of the t taking responsibility. Which is, I know, that dog went inside, it's okay, person. Person's not liking dogs lately. I think that was what I don't know, some other animal was speaking. Can see the stars. So I don't know what this is about, other than to say, yeah, definitely arson, definitely know who it is, definitely that's why they have the place totally wide open. Because <sighs> I know what's happening. Sounds like Pansy's coming to the party. Oh, come here, here she comes. Oh, she's limping. Hey, Pans. Outside, but not for the walk. Okay. Am I crazy? Is she limping? She's definitely yelling at me for once in a while. All right, so I will uh, turn this off, but, uh, yeah, so for me, it's really, really hard to uh, do that take personal responsibility thing because it's, I have to protect other people, but I also have to protect myself. And of course, I come last because that's what I do, but... Sometimes I have to take care of myself is really hard and it's really annoying to me when other people do not take responsibility for themselves because they're burdens and how dare they and then I'm judgmental of other people and how dare I and it's a cycle and anyway I can turn this off get Pansy inside I'm sure she's cold I think she's a little limpy and a little slow. She probably needs to get warmed up and get some food. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know if anything else comes up.